Welcome back. There's no slowing down Judy Nunn, conquering the stage, screen and selling more than a million books worldwide. What's she doing now? I think this might be the last lot, Brucey. Yeah, I've had a gut full of it. Oh, the burden of being a number one best-selling author. How many is it? Oh, I don't know. You're the one who's counting. I'm just signing. Judy Nunn's been going for days autographing her latest book for distribution, ably assisted by sarcastic husband, actor Bruce Venables. Oh, that's it. I've had enough. Showtime is about to hit the shelves. And like her 15 books before it, it's tipped to be another number one. I never ever thought I'd be a top-selling novelist. I had no idea, you know. I think I actually needed uh, an artistic uh, further area to explore. I think I got a little bit bored with the long-running television soap that I was doing. What a career. Stage, screen and author. Now home and away from that soap doing what she truly loves. She wrote five of those books while she was working on television. She, she wrote them on set while the cameras were rolling. Yeah, first day there, so she said, Jude, we're gonna shoot. Oh, all right, aren't you? <laughs> and Judy's million readers can't get enough of her historical fiction novels. They love to discover these historical things as they're enjoying a good story. I feel I'm learning from your books while I'm really enjoying a good yarn. And I think that's the way I like to write. So I'm writing the sort of books that I like and it's proved that people like them. You bet they do. Each book has been based on an event around our country. My characters are fictional. They bump into real people who've, who have moulded this country and everything and historically the times that have really, really made this country what it is. Geez, we've been to some good places, have, haven't we, over the years? Have June? we what? <laughs> From the Abrolhos in yes. WA to Bundaberg yes. uh, in Queensland to, you know, well, oh. travelling the GAN right up oh. through the centre. Jude, do you miss the stage, theatre and TV? When I go on book tours, what I do, and sometimes I do it two of these a day, I am doing a one-woman show and I'm working directly to an audience. Uh, so uh, I, I am relating as a performer. Frankly, the other one is a vanity thing, I think. Um, I don't really think I want to see myself at my age on television playing a role. I mean, it's enough to be confronted seeing myself on television chatting to you and looking 30 years older than I feel. Um, so, <laughs> television's too confronting. So now, in her 30th year of writing, she's come full circle. The theatre was my first great love, way before telly, way before writing. That was um, a, a production of The Summer of the Seventeenth Doll. Showtime is back to her roots, taking us on a tour of Australia's historic theatres, including our oldest, the Theatre Royal in Hobart. And it does have a ghost. His name is Fred. Uh, now, my dear friend Jackie Weaver has seen Fred. I, I have played the, the, the Theatre Royal in Hobart twice. I'm afraid I haven't seen Fred. It's the vaudeville era, around the time of the Victorian gold rush, when the world descended on Down Under, looking to strike it rich. And where that, those thousands of people gather, they're going to need entertainment. So the entrepreneurs very quickly followed. And they followed with all forms of ridiculous shows, even farters and belchers. Yes, it's absolutely true. That was entertainment. Yes. My bloke, I've got him farting to uh, God Save the Queen, so everybody gives him a standing ovation. Uh, and there was also the bloke who could uh, belch to Strauss waltzes, so people would get up and waltz in the aisle. Thank God the theatre and TV came. <laughs> but isn't that extraordinary to think of it? I think it's a job well done. Toast to that. Cheers. Each book sells more than the next. She really is a terrific woman. She's remarkable. She's very intelligent and she's talented. And Judy is genuinely grateful and amazed at that success. I can't understand how, but it's wonderful, isn't it? I tell you what, after all these years, 
and all these stories, are there any more left in you? How much longer does it go on for? Oh, Brady, I mean, look, uh, longevity runs in my family. I have, um, you know, my mum didn't uh, flit away until she was 97. I've got aunts who are 100. Oh, yeah, I think I've got a few more books left here. Isn't she fabulous? Judy's book, Showtime, is out next week.